Welcome, Adores. In the daily life of a business, it's pretty common that some actions are interconnected. For example, every time I start working with a new client on a new project, I need to set up a kickoff meeting. But it can be time consuming and a little bit annoying to set up all of those actions manually. For that matter, it is possible to automate a sequence of actions in Otis project application. It's going to make your life a lot easier and save you a lot of time. That is amazing. Here at the Dinosaur Museum, every time someone is working with dinosaur bones, I really want our paleontologist Monica to be notified automatically. Would that be possible? Of course. Let me show you how we can do this in Odoo. All right, so we are in our database and we will head straight into the project module. And the task that we're working with is temporary exhibition. Now, to access the automations, I will just click on the little cog next to one of my Kanban stages, and I will go into Automations. Keep in mind that this is something that will activate the Studio application uh, in your DB, so just something to be aware of. Uh, for now, we'll just go ahead and click on New Automation. And each automation is composed of two stages. So we have a trigger, uh, which prompts the, uh, uh, the action to start happening, and then the actual action that we want uh, to happen. So since we want uh, Monica to get notified every time a certain tag is added to our task, so every time we're working with bones, like Guillaume mentioned, we want Monica to be aware. So we will set the trigger to be a tag is added. We have a tag for dinosaur bones already existing in RDB. And so this is our trigger part of the automation. And we'll click on add an action to specify what it is exactly that we want to happen in our DB. Now, you will see here that we have a lot of different types of automations available, and we will not get into all of them in this video. However, if you're more interested, we have another automations video in our studio tutorials, and we also have a documentation page about it, so you can check everything in detail there. Um, for now, since we want Monica to be added, uh, to be notified of everything that's going on, we will add her as follower uh, to the task as soon as the tag has been added. Let's find Monica here. We'll go ahead and save and close. And now let me show you what actually happens when, uh, when we actually already applied the automation and we go back to our project. So... We have uh, our project, we have our tasks, and the one that we are working with is the uh, to identify unknown fossil, because obviously this is the one where we will need help of our paleontologist. So I will add a tag here. I'll add the bone tag. Let me save this real quick. And here you see that uh, in our follower, followers list, we not only have me who has created the task and was there automatically, but we also have Monica. And this happened automatically because of, of the automation that we just created. That's awesome. Do you think we can go a little further? For instance, I would love to be reminded to call Monica every time a task related to the fossil exhibition is reaching the review stage. Sure, we can go ahead and set it up right away. So we have our review stage here. I will click on the automations. And uh, we can see all of our existing au automations here. This is the previous one that we just created. I actually failed to mention, uh, but we did not change the title. The title by default says set a stage to ongoing. Obviously, this one is related to adding a tag. So it should be called tag is added. Now all is correct. We can move on with your request. So let's go to automation rules. And let's create a new one. So by default, the title is a status set to review, as that is where we clicked on uh, the automations. And this is exactly what we want, so that's perfect. Uh, and now that the trigger is correct, we will add an action. And because here what we want to do is have a reminder to call Monica, we will choose to create an activity. And you might recognize this as it looks quite, quite similar from the view of scheduling actions from Chatter. So we have all the same options as over there. So we have activity type call. This is what we want. The title, we'll just call it call Monica. So we have all of the details that we need. Due date, um, we can set it up, for example, for two days. So from the moment that the, the task is dropped into this stage, we have two days to perform this action. And we also need to select the responsible person. I will go ahead and just select myself. I'll save and close. 
let's go ahead and go back to our uh, project Kanban view. And now if we drop any of the tasks, for example, the research task into the review stage, you can see immediately even without going into the task that a new activity has been uh, created inside of the task. You have the little phone icon. And if we go inside of the task, we will see that during two days, we have an activity to call Monica. What would we do without Monica in this museum? Indeed. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you again in the next one.